What is going on everyone? My name is Boyt and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, The Fundamentals Action. Gonna be jumping in today with Zeus. Haven't done a Zeus one yet, so I'm pretty excited about this one. Zeus is an interesting god uh, with the fundamentals. He has a pretty decent fundamental game, but he, he does uh, lack in areas uh, compared to like Hades and Poseidon in terms of the strength of playing simply just defensive. He does have the underworld passage, which can really help him get out of tight situations and things like that. But we'll just see how we go. Play nice and slow, nice and uh, methodical and safe and get all the upgrades out in the right order. Uh, and we'll see what happens here. Hopefully we get a land map and uh, things go, go nicely for us. Found an instant player, so this will be exciting. Here we go, Zeus Fundamentals. And we are playing against Balder 19, or Balder 7 on the map Mi uh, Oasis. So first things first, I'm gonna jump over here onto this granary here. He's playing Poseidon. So he does have a stronger late game than us, but if we play fundamentals, we will probably be okay here. I'm gonna kill two separate Z. Oh my God, I had four shoot and two missed. That is just never lucky, really. Um, my wood lines are really bad. I'm going to come here. It's near a three. Oh, that's a really, really good second town center for us. So let's grab that. Um, maybe we can go quite fast to the classical age and get that town center and then just play fundamentals from there. We're not going to go centaur on this map, even though it's pretty good uh, against Poseidon a lot of the time. It's just not really a part of the fundamentals, so it's not really an option here. Go three villagers on wood and then we'll go, uh, we'll go villagers over onto this gold mine. So it's just standard, standard build here for, uh, for Zeus, if you guys have seen the, the build order video, the Hyper Modern 2 Town Center, it's going to look similar to that, but we are short 200 food. So what we're going to have to do is instead of sending villagers uh, to this pack here, we're going to have to go over here. Uh, and then some of these villagers are potentially going to have to come elsewhere. So we'll send those over now. So we'll put four villages over to that spot. Maybe five villages over to that spot, actually. See if we can bring this zebra closer. Okay, that'll do. And we'll build a granary over here and we'll get our house here. And we are fine and dead. We're finding a lot of goats. So this is really, really good for us to play nice and defensive. Goat help. Okay. I might bolt that. I'm thinking about it. I'll guide my goat back. Oh, he's going to find these. Drat. He might send him back through this way. So we'll just scout that out and see if we can get those goat back. See which way he wants to send them. It's like he didn't come this way, so maybe... Alright, that'll be fine. Okay. Oh, we're not going to find it. Alright, that's fine. We'll come down the bottom. Uh, and that is our eighth villager. So we're going to build a temple now. I'm going to build that temple over here near my gold mine. Because that villager is probably going to come to gold later. Let's send this villager here to see if we can shoot the zebra closer to the granary. And it's okay. It's not It's not ideal, but it's okay. Put the temple here. It's going to block our gold mine in so he can't raid us too badly. I'm going to put another villager onto food here. I'll take that one off later. For some reason, this villager is confused about what she wants to do. Okay, so now we can start going over onto wood. So normally in the um, in the in the the hyper modern two town center build, you only got eight villagers on food. But because we had to have all this walking time, I'm going to put an extra villager on here, uh, and then we'll probably put another villager over onto wood or gold later instead of just having five on each, and that should be able to make it kind of fine. So house over to gold. Uh, so now we come to gold. Yeah, this village, one of these villages are going to have to come over onto, onto wood here. And it's going to be fine. This finishes off. You come over here. You guys come over here. You dump this. We advance through Hermes. Actually, one of these villages comes over here. And I think that should be okay. We need two villages here. Bit of a mistake, but hey, what can you do? So how many goat do we actually find? Not as many as I actually hoped, but he's got a very exposed giraffe line here. I'm not going to abuse that too much, I don't think. That's only three giraffe as well. So it's fine. Unlike my five. 
I come over here. One, one upgrade I want to get fairly early here is uh, is husbandry, but I I might actually skip my Odysseus for husbandry and skip my uh, Jason for husbandry. So normally you get those upgrades, but because it's Oasis, there's not a lot I'm going to be able to do. He's got so many goat. He's got so many goat. That's so bad for us. He's going to run through here. He's got a safe gold mine. He's got safe backwood as well. He's, he's gotten very, very lucky on those goats. Okay, so now... Uh, now we can pull off the gold, put those over onto our chicken, which should be over here. Grab our town center, and we'll be okay here. We'll move this over here. Okay, we have berries. Uh, you come over here as well. Uh, and we got to start getting our upgrades. So we just grab pickaxe. And these villages over here are just... We need those for potential farms and everything else. Our opponent still hasn't advanced yet, so that's really good for us. We'll just check out this hunt. This is the only real place where we can raid, so this is all basically where we're going to be sitting. So he's gone Hermes as well. Okay, so he is here, so we're just going to attack. He's retreating away. He's going for the town center. We'll just see if we can get a villager kill or something. This is the, the most we're going to really do here. If we can get one villager kill, we'll be happy. One more, um, let's rip them away. No problems, let's get our Odysseus out so we can defend. So we're happy with that. That's a that's a really big win. And, and now we got to get our upgrades again. Uh, and here we go, these villagers come back over here. Do this. Uh, we've got goat over here that I kind of want to send to this town center. And let's just go on to the wood for now. Now, we need to start thinking of... Actually, we need, to, we need to get some more gold, actually. So we'll come over onto gold. We need to start thinking about where we need a wall. I think a really nice wall would be here first. So let's sort that out. So this villager can come here. We need to throw down some potential military buildings and scout him out. He did go to town center, so I'm not too worried. Uh, let's chuck this over here. This wall goes down and... We're going to be defending that villager and keeping an eye out for his shenanigans here. Okay, so maybe you come here. Our upgrades. I'm going to get shaft mine now. We weren't building villages. That's really bad. And we also want to get ourselves bow saw when we can. These villagers will finish up on the berries and come over onto the onto the goats here. And I want to throw up... We did get that stable. Okay. So I don't want to build any units here. I do want to scout him out. So let's just run through his base, see what we can see, uh, and go from there. Oh, so the other thing is, maybe we want to throw up a wall right here. So let's get that sorted here. Okay, so that's enough villages on gold for the time being, because we're not building any units just yet. Still haven't seen too much. There's a there's a hero here. He's just playing defensive. Okay. Great. Let's move some villages over here. We can just shift click back home. Let's grab ourselves this. We still haven't seen too much in his base. I'm going to sacrifice the Kaskobos here just to run through. See what's going on. Uh, and we're going to actually build an archery range here. Or two. We don't want to build any units. This is just to safety in case he builds units. So we start getting our farms up. And I want to get Bosor. Remember our fundamentals? No problems. And this should allow us to get the farms out and be fairly, fairly okay. We're going to throw up an armory as well. Actually get a house. Because we need that. I still haven't seen any buildings for him. No buildings. This, is, this makes me worried. <laughs> this makes me think he's actually quite good at the game. Okay, there's some walls there. There's his buildings. Okay, so he is making some some dudes. I'm going to come over here and wall this. Uh, and I do think I need to send units over here now to defend. So we'll just start... Oh, okay. Let's run this. Don't want to lose the villager. Farm. Oop, that's an awful farm. Try and make our farms nice and well positioned here. It's like he's leaving that location, but okay. 
I don't know if he's looking to raid me somewhere. Right. Okay, let's just protect the villager as best as we can. Stop building arches because we need the farms. Like I said, I'm not too, not too worried about much here. If he wants to raid me, I just have to run. I'll be okay with that. Okay, these villagers have to come over to wood. And we can start taking villagers off of this wood line now. And uh, start building ourselves more farms here. And we need to get to the next age. And then see the macro just works out really nicely here as well. When you get those upgrades. Up we go, we go on Apollo. Okay. We do have to worry about potentially a timing attack on this gold mine, but I have ceasefire. So, no problems. Oh, you have... Oh, he... Did he snipe my villager? Okay. Let's kill off one of the centaur if we can. Okay, he's just going to push in. Take a bunch of villagers off of wood now because we overdid it on wood. Okay, so he's coming in. We'll just retreat. No problems. And maybe even start building some barracks here. I don't have a full wall off over here, so I do have to... This is basically the only place I need to be worried about. I'm housed as well, so let's sort that out. In fact, build all our houses so I don't forget anymore. Like the scrub I am. All the farms, get that sorted out. Now, as soon as we're in this age, start getting our upgrades again. Get our upgrades. And we're good to go, I think. I, I just need to get this one when I can afford it. Let's stop building these arches here and get irrigation. And we will, our economy should be in a much better place than our opponents here. Um, I kind of want to get my third town center because he's not in the next age. So let's think about sorting that out. And... Maybe, 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 maybe. He's scouting me out, I'm not sure what for. I'm not going to worry too much about that here. Okay, now, now we run over here. Oh, it looks like he's just looking for my dudes. Okay. Let's get this town center going. And I think we're, we're in a pretty good position here. Build the scout, okay. What else can we get? Maybe grab ourselves signal fires. We've got a lot of villagers on gold now, so I, I need to maybe get some more onto wood again. So let's sort that out. Onto wood. Maybe stop building those arches. I did. He's pushing in. We've got enough units here to defend this for sure. This is suicide for him if he wants to def prevent this from happening. It's not going to happen. He's got a lot of archers here. He's... Yeah, this is just all all dead cavalry. We're completely safe. No problems. I'm going to throw down a market in my back corner. This market here is a, is a market so that we can trade to this town center before we secure the, the corner up here. Let's go on Aphrodite. No problems. Let's get ourselves fortified town centers. Part of me wants to get my line upgrades here just because I saw him getting his, but I think no real problems to be honest. All right. And this gold that we're getting, you can see we've got a lot of it. It's not the worst thing in the world because I can just buy food if I need to. Um, okay, so what we're going to do actually now that the market is up, we're going to, well one we're going to get masons, but two we're just going to buy a bunch of food and go to the next stage. We're going to go through, um, we're going to go through Hephaestus, we're going to take some villages off of wood, put them over here, and we're just going to build a bunch of buildings around this town center here. Stable, no, no, no stable, no stable, no stable. Oops. Barracks, barracks, barracks. 
uh, fortress, and then that should be enough to defend ourselves against a potential earthquake. Should not be able to kill this one. This one here is similarly here. We just throw a bunch of barracks here. We can start getting our upgrades as well. Um, I want to start pushing forward on this side here with more walls. So let's see if we can secure this corner here. We are kind of playing PVM, so that's nice. We'll get carrier pigeons, start our trade route before we, again before we secure a corner. Let's get ourselves stone walls. I'm going to send a suicidal hoplite forward and just see what's going on here. I could try and steal this as well now that I'm in the last age, but I'm not going to. Get our armories up to start getting our armory upgrades. Let's fight this. I want to get this wall up over here so he can't push in. He does have heavy cavalry here. No problems. Okay, so he's got a line. He's got a bunch of Toxodes. Okay, let's hold this location. Get this, get this. Do I have a bunch of archery rangers somewhere? Not yet. Let's get those started. Chuck this down in the back of our base. Get ourselves flood control. We are perfectly economically upgraded. Or get ourselves this as well. Get ourselves Forge of Olympus instantly as well. And here's now pushing in. Oh, can we win this fight? Is the question. He's chuck, chucking a fortress down. He's got heavy cavalry. We just want to wait for our heavy upgrades and then we we'll turn and fight. I think we can win this now. There's the heavy upgrades. Move over here. Start making ourselves some Heliopolis because they are incredibly strong at this point here. More units to be built. That's a nice attack here from him. All right, let's pull back. Let's pull back. Let's get ourselves out our Bellerophon. This is not a fight we can win. He used a god power. Obviously, that turns the fight in his favor. And Forge of Olympus is not finished yet, so we just pull back in. Stop sending units forward if you can. Okay, so... Now, we just need to get more upgrades here. Well, yeah, I mean, we need more villagers on, on gold, it looks like, but that's what the trade is about. I'm sacrificing units for some reason. Okay, now we can fight a little bit more. Boom, boom, boom. Get these upgrades. I think we win the fight now. We're back to full population. Get all my buildings in control groups so I can send them here. Make sure that these guys are here. Sort this out. Wall here. You come onto this. I don't even really need to look at this. The only micro I need to do is the Bellerophon, to be honest. And Bellerophon is dead, and that's a sad state of affairs, but my army's really, really strong now. I do want to get this when I can. Now we push through, and I mean, honestly, I, I feel like I'm in a very good position here. Let's get Olympic Parentage. Let's get this, let's get this, let's get this. And he's pushing in again. Colossus can possibly take the fortress down. Uh, all my units are pumping in here, so no problems. Let's get ourselves architects as well. Uh, maybe even get ourselves watchtowers. Let's keep pushing forward. Ooh, you need to build the wall. I was going to say keep pushing forward on that. Let's get Sunray as well. Take this down with our, our Heliopoli. Um, and there's the ceasefire. That's really good. And when ceasefire happens, cancel all production. Oop. Except for your... Uh, your thing and that way you can get all your upgrades you need and then restart it so boom boom this 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 and while this is going on let's see if we can grab this corner here as well this is both corners have been secured now for me uh is there anything else i need i need these let's get this let's sell some more wood and get this and we should be happy the other upgrade is the engineer's upgrade okay now we start production again with 20 seconds left and we're good to go. No problems. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe up here. Uh, this village is finished here. I want to throw up a wall on this location. Control this. He probably wants to grab his town center at some point. Let's see if we can kill this now. Get you guys onto this. Get our Bellerophon, our Jason back out. Actually, I might bolt. Actually, no, I'm going to save bolt for Polyphemus. Polyphemus is that that um, or maybe for the Titan if that comes at any point in this game. You guys, come over here. 
I have these villagers are being sad, so let's move them forward. And we're just continuously taking more and more of the map with our walls, with our superior units here. All our upgrades, we can get weapons of the Titans. We're not going to make Myrmidon probably, but I'll buy it just because I can. Let's get ourselves crenellations and maybe even get boiling oil, even though I don't like boiling oil. And we just keep pushing forward here. Let's stop this from going up with our Heliopolis. Bellerophon comes in, helps us out. And we just have so many resources here. Once this, uh, once this is up, we'll build a market in the corner here. Bit of a mattress market because it's... I'm kind of blind. Okay, okay, so let's bolt this. That'll hurt him a lot because that's a lot of resources there. Maybe come in and use the Bellerophon to kill that. And there's the tap out. GG, well played, Mr. Balder. So, I mean, like, that's the, that's the thing here. That's the thing. You just play fundamentals, you play solid, and you just look at this. We both went to town centers. And I have so many more resources than here. It's not even close. Civilian units, a slight advantage for him in this point of the game because I think I forgot to build some units, but hey, what can you do? Uh, oh, no, that was while I was advancing, but I'm just in front for the whole game. Uh, but most importantly here is those technologies helped out so much over my opponent. Let's check out his economic upgrades. Boom, this is the problem here. No flood control, no carpenters. Uh, he probably got them late. But he's just like, no pressure he can put onto me. I've got these two god powers still left over, Underworld Passage and Ceasefire. And honestly, this is a way, a very, very solid way you can play uh, against uh, against the uh, the Poseidon matchup for Zeus and for Hades as well. Uh, you just play solid, play defensive, get the walls going, and, and it's going to be really tough for the Poseidon player to crack you, especially because if you put an earthquake down, they've already got masons, architects, plus some buildings. The Townsend is not going down. They can still cease fire it anyways. Not going to get that value out of that. The Chimera popping out there, not that scary if you don't waste bolt in the early game on a hero. You kill one of them with a bolt, and then Bellerophon will do the other one, deal with the other one um, that comes out and... Honestly, this feels really, really good for the Zeus players out there. So definitely give it a go. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow button on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, please just leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and definitely leave a like if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next game.